Hello loves, um, welcome to another episode on Trending This Week yep. And on Trending This Week, if this is your first time watching We sit here to discuss and share with you stories that trended everywhere yeah. In entertainment, Sports, social, politics, everywhere Fashion you know you don't you you don't want to miss and i am sitting in with demzy and my name is jimmy chris and in this week's stories we have many many more stories coming up when we come back Welcome back guys so we are going to get in our stories now and in our first story we are talking the 100th birthday celebration of the chief, chief imam, imam yes. in a church okay now the thing is um, according to chief imam he didn't go there to worship sure. he actually just went there on a friendly visit yes, yes. and to also symbolize peace, peace. between the two, two religions, religions. Sure. you know you all know how christians <laughs> and you know muslims, uh, muslims have this Mis misunderstandings so and all good, that. So it was conduct. it was a very good good yeah. thing for him to you know go out there. You know the chief imam is such a calm man. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. Yes. So he decided that okay, since it's his on his hundredth birthday, yes. he's going to go to church yes. and you know let us know that we can all live together peacefully. And, and religious tolerance is one thing. Um, as a nation, we should all condone it. Exactly. It was exactly. a very, a it perfect was very example. nice, and uh, you know, yes. people, they, everybody, the whole was nation happy. was talking about it. Yeah. And you know when um, the Muslim community went to uh, uh, demolish uh, Wusu Bempa's uh, church, yeah, yeah. Uh, he called on a Wusu Bempa and apologized and addressed you at this. So he's, he's always that calm man, man and a very yeah. peaceful man, always wanting things to go. Smoothly, smoothly. Nice we wish him a, a very, very very happy, happy birthday, belated birthday, birthday. Yeah. and yeah. long yeah. life we need maybe long 200 life. you know yeah. i mean we tap into his blessing though we tap into his blessing you know now we're going to get into our next story and yes. in our next story the son of archbishop duncan williams, williams is yes. in the news daniel duncan williams that is the name of the son of, of yeah the, the son of duncan williams and um, he's in the news for um this week he shared a video where he was seen smoking and you know cursing out and saying a whole lot of things and also yeah. in the video he revealed that he actually went to jail yes. for three years yes. you know his son is not in ghana yeah. well now the story is going out and people are like what the hell is going on yes. with daniel like you they abandon god or you feel like god has abandoned you eh? it never go happen never go happen for this life god never go abandon you for this life we thank God that God no be man, but man be God. I think I need to grow some dress, baby. What you think? I think I need to grow some dress, baby. But I'm good, guys. I'm Gucci. Thank you. See you soon. Probably pull up to Ghana soon. But the gang, you got me. Real gang. Like, you could see, you could see he's very depressed. He is. And whatever he, who, that is uh, troubling with or him with him is, is serious. Is, yes, and it's real. You can even see yes. how frustrated he, he was. was. And his father being an archbishop and him living that kind, that of, kind life. of life. And they got people talking. Yeah, he actually what? did say in his post that you would have to go to jail or visit prison for three years to feel his pain. pain so course. you you can like it looks like he's going through a lot. But and he said that is his life and this is how it's gonna be. So we should just accept it. And as he, he did say something about if God abandoned you know, no, he was saying a whole lot a whole of lot. Diversion, you know, it was but all depression. It all was depression. depression. It was definitely depression. Even though he has actually deleted the post, the post. since it, it was, it went viral. Yeah. And I mean, we really hope that he gets the help he really deserves. And he even said he's coming back to Ghana soon Very with soon. his gang. We don't know which gang for what, but. I mean, uh let's wait and see we what happens no we really hope he gets the help he gets the help he maybe, gets. This maybe a rehab a rehab, a rehab a rehab will help yeah, yeah 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 we wish him all the best, Very best. Okay. moving on to our next story from the national chief imam to archbishop duncan williams mm -hmm. now to reverend dr angel obinim 
He is in the news. Again. And he's in the news again. <laughs> well, according to Obinim, um, yeah. when Jesus was crucified, he was there. Oh. Actually, he says that he was the angel who rolled the stone from the tomb. Yeah, don't laugh. Like, he Amazing. is serious. <laughs> like, he was telling his congregation during the Easter um, Sunday okay. church service. Yeah. Telling them that, I mean, he is a very um, great person in Ghana. Like, yeah. he's a huge asset in Ghana, but we are not taking him serious. Oh, like, he says Ghanaians are not taking him serious. We don't, we don't, we don't respect the power he, he is has. He's too comic. He's too comic. No, you like you are part of those people. He said you don't oh. respect the power he has. How, he has how, that much how power. Can he, say you he were was there. the one who <laughs> rolled the stone from the tomb. What, what are Please. you talking about? So uh, um, 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 was telling his church that he was he was that angel. So if you were wondering who that angel was, was well, we were all not there. Okay. So look no further. Go to Obinim's <laughs> church or just Amazing. search for Obinim and you will see that angel who rolled the stone Amazing. from where Jesus was um, um, buried. Well, well, Obinim has too many things going on. Very he dramatic. Is, every single day he's in the news for something. It's, 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 it's appalling. Yeah. Like, I can't, it's preposterous. I can't wrap my head around all the things he likes to say. It's and and that's, what is, that's what's selling him and his congregation. Always trying to be in the news. Hey. These pastors are branded. Branded pastor. <laughs> okay, now you're going to get into our next story. And yes. what is our next story? Moving on to our next story, we are talking Junior US. Unfortunately, death. death. A day to his birthday, it was reported that he was shot in his apartment. Yeah. Yes, and it was very sad. It is sad. It yeah. is sad. According to reports, um, this incident happened. Well, it is believed that this incident happened after he took to social media to share stacks of million dollars money cash l'argent kudi on her social media and um, platforms that is snapchat and um, instagram, instagram. Yes. and it is believed that because of this show of um people went into his home to kill him and I, but, but, like i don't know if reports there were reports that so, saying something was stolen yeah. or something. i don't it's know whether they make yeah. the, they make way away with the money so we are yet to get all the yes. yeah all and the so information to come later out. On, the it looks like they are to, going yeah investigations are ongoing on, yes. to and catch the culprit. Yes, the one has been arrested already. Yeah, yeah. One, yeah. Uh, one, one. one of the shooter and a lady has been arrested yeah, already. Yeah, police custody. So we are waiting so to hear more from the police. So investigations are still ongoing. Yes. But you remember Junior US was in the news concerning his issue with, with Showboy. Showboy. Yes. Apparently he was one who mm. caused um showboy to be arrested yeah. so if you don't know him um i i think he's called manayao yes right his, yeah. his name is yeah. manayao yeah yeah but it's, but it's popular known as, um, junior us it's, 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 it's rather unfortunate yeah people are pointing finger at showboy that he might he be behind but we are just waiting you know we can't for, actually say anything for the so police just... to come up with their own investigations yeah, and reports yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so, so um, may he may his soul rest in perfect, perfect peace like, okay now we're going to get into our next story and in our next story this one see we are laughing it's actually a little bit funny Very well funny. uganda president um president Yoweri right. has actually warned her citizens to stop doing oral sex yeah they should do away with it don't it's now he, he has threatened to ban oral sex yeah completely. in uganda how, well, how possible yeah he says that um outsiders have come to corrupt the people of uganda yes, with a whole lot of things including oral sex yes. which he is concerned about so um you know and he made emphasis on the mouth not being uh for, for sex, sex is for eating it's for eating and according we, to if, him we all know the address for sex yes and mouth if, is not if one have sex you know where to locate it you know where to locate certainly it. the mouth isn't for it's it. not but so people find pleasure in in, in oral sex no i mean this is funny are you going to go into people's rooms how, to, check how are you to, <laughs> to check who is having oral sex i mean come but on but i think um to throw a bit light on it i think oral sex also have it health implications yeah, yeah so yeah. maybe it might be a, a good cause but to totally I mean, do away people with supposed it to stop enjoying what they want to well, enjoy i mean i don't know how he got to know about it on the how first. he got to know about it her saying how how possible i mean people do oral sex all the time okay so i mean maybe he mr president might my words no I don't know. he doesn't <laughs> like oral sex you you can't have people your president says use your mouth so how come how come he knew that the, his 
citizens practice oral sex. That's Everybody what he practices oral sex in the entire world. He do knows. You, do you? Well, I don't practice oral sex. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Do you? Uh, well, okay. we don't know. Well, well, according to um, um, um the president, he is going to issue a ban on oral sex. Now, this is a warning. Don't yes. think this is going to go anywhere. Will he go into people's room to check? Who that's oral that's sex? my. But well, let's see. Well, let's see what will happen. Yeah. Now, this is the end on trending this week. On so you can follow us on social media. You can follow me on social media at yeah. Opapa the cutest. You can also follow me on all social media. Facebook at DemzyGH, Instagram at Demzy you just underscore. Said all social media. So, they so I'm just I No, don't give them explanations. I they know all social media. Don't so it's Demzy GH across. Just type the original Demzy GH. Okay, we are going to end here and see you in another episode next week. Don't miss it. Bye bye. Stay safe.